It's A Boogie with the hoodie, but people just call me A Boogie. Everybody wanted to have a nickname back in the G. Like in high school, when I was younger, everybody wanted a nickname. So first it was A A Real or something like that. My name was A Real first. He was getting light and such shit like that. Back in the G, like I was like seventh grade, eighth grade, he was going crazy back then. And then they changed it to A Boogie. Everybody started calling me A Boogie. I was watching Payton a Fool a lot. You watch Payton a Fool like, hey, day. <laughs> so A Boogie started becoming a common name. Everybody started going A Boogie. And all this is my real name. So, or it's like, I got, like, in my music, I call it like, I call it like 2000 years. All this is the side where I like do my love songs, like Still Think About You, DTB, like, those songs like that, with my love song, that's like my artist side. And then it's A Boogie with the hoodie, where I go bag on me, bando, trap house, all that. Like my rapping, my rapping flows and shit. I didn't really like the hoodie at first, but then it just came along, so I went with it. Or I like it now though, A Boogie with the hoodie. <laughs> From New York, the Bronx, by um, my Yankee Stadium, High Bridge. Specifically, I like High Bridge, cause like, people don't know the history behind High Bridge. Like High Bridge, it's like, it's things behind High Bridge. Like, for example, like the bridge, High Bridge, it's an actual bridge. It's the first bridge in New York, made in New York, and it's still standing. And it's like, it's like the oldest bridge in New York, like that. And it was like some shit, like the Irish people, they used to go across the river to the water tower and all that, to mean the water across the bridge. And then like, they, they sold it to some people, and then like, for me, it showed you how many percentages of the black people, Spanish people there, it's crazy. So High Bridge, and, and then it turned, like, turned into the jungle. Or living the habits is crazy, like, or adapted to it. Got to, got no choice to. But the funny part is I ain't really, I ain't really show nobody my raps. I had it in a notebook. Like middle school I started rapping, but I didn't show nobody. I got to high school, I spit one rap, everybody liked it, so I just started rocking with it. <laughs> kept on going, kept on going, everybody liked all my raps, so I just kept on going. At first I ain't really had a voice, like, this voice right here, this is my only voice that I had back then, like I didn't know I had all the other voices, so I was just rapping like a regular person. I was just rapping like spitting regular balls, like ah da 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 da. Then when I learned the music game, start melodies and all that, that's when I started enjoying it. So it's like you can't tell me nothing now, like I don't even care what people say about it now. Like, first when I was in elementary school, I didn't really like my name, you know, like, like people, everybody made fun of my name. Your name is artist. You you an artist? I was questioned after mine. They said your name is artist. You an artist? And I was like, yeah, I'm an artist. Like, <laughs> but at first, my mindset wasn't, it wasn't right at first when I came back to New York. My mindset was just to like get money and then try to go to the studio, get money, get money, try to, you feel me? But you can't, I had to realize that you can't try to get money, support yourself and grind, like and grind doing what you need to do at the same time. Like you needed that, like this, the music is the grind, basically. Like the music is the grind, like, you feel me? Like you really gotta like grind, like you gotta find your way around it. You can't just be you can't be stuck doing what you can't be stuck right there trying to get there for me basically what I'm saying. Like, that's where I was at. But now I met up with I ain't meet up I, I knew QP and Bubba my whole life, but we've been talking about the label and all that, but you know how it is in front of her and shit, like you don't know, we ain't know how it's gonna go. At first we didn't know if we should take it serious, but then we started working, we was in the studio every day, so we had the first song I was making was Around when like I was going through girl problems, I had a girlfriend and shit. I had a girlfriend. She, she, I don't know, man. I don't want to talk about that right now. But I had a girlfriend. We was going through things, and um, me, me, QP, and Bubba, we was in the studio every day, just I'm making these heartbreak songs. Just, that's when I realized, like, damn, my music is, is different now. So my music is real. My music was real different after I started making heartbreak songs. That was it. That was all I really needed. We started working on the mixtape and I say the end of December going to January we started making it. And then we dropped it on Valentine's Day. Um, February 14th, so like a couple months. I got I got into that little situation, like that little heartbreak situation. And so Valentine's Day, everybody wanna be cuddled up, so I'm like, fuck it. <laughs> I thought that I'm got my music, that's my Valentine's Day gift, so I was live with that. At first the reaction was a lot of critics and People, a lot of reactions like was good though. It was good, but a lot of people like didn't like it because like I'm coming, I came out different at first. Like for me, people don't like me. Don't come out like how I came out with the still think about you. Don't trust that she's talking about girls and being like for me talking to the girls. So like at first I had to, it's hard to catch girls' attention, especially in New York. So it's up to a point where I would share it one time on my 
on my Facebook and my Instagram and like leave it there for a whole two weeks. It go crazy, like the numbers and just everybody just sharing they pumping in the streets. Everybody just started supporting the High Bridge. I had an engine behind me too. High Bridge is like a town out of the Bronx. It's like the biggest thing out of the Bronx. Like High Bridge is real big. So everybody in High Bridge is just like an engine just supporting OD. So it was crazy after they started supporting. For the year, next I'm dropping Vacation. I'm dropping a video to Vacation. Everybody waiting for that right now. That's like the most anticipated song on my EP. My EP is gonna be called something with Artisan. I'm not sure yet, I'm still coming up with it. I'm, I'm going with vibes. That's why I go with everything. I don't really drop dates and everything. I go with vibes, for me, what's going on. So we're gonna see. I want 2016 and like, I'm here. So now it's time to keep on being consistent.